um it is tuesday the is it the seventh or the eighth no it's the seventh i think tuesday the seventh today i didn't vlog yesterday monday the sixth if it was um i think i feel like if i didn't vlog i wasn't doing much also just doing jobs i like doing some wrapping up um and just tidying up because if you guys mm, i might have mentioned it before i'm not sure um when i moved in this house we were we got a price for wooden shutters for the lounge um anyway it takes ages i think it's because of covid on brexit to get the wood into the country anyway the wood's here there's blinds are here they're made up um so they're ready to get fitted but it will kind of last minute it let us know over the weekend because it's had a cancellation so it is last minute so i've literally had to clear i've just realized there were presents in the background there guys um, so I've had to clear, Chris has had to pull the tree out before it went to work away and I've um, and I've had to clear the whole windowsill, ready for them. So I'll go show you what that looks like now. So at the minute, there's a tree, it's literally in the middle of the house. <laughs> With a little train still around it, I don't know if I showed you all, I think I did, I love that. Um, so that's literally in the middle of the lounge right now. The elves have been, naughty naughty. Um, and then we've just had to clear it, you know, for him to be able to get in. Probably could do with giving this a good clean, actually, because it's got bits of pampers on. I just shoved it in there for the time being. Um, so that's all ready for the wooden shutters to go on. All right, St. Nick, this is what we're still putting up with. I think the guy's coming on the 20th to plaster it and board it. Um, so it probably won't be painted for Christmas, but it is what it is um and then i think there's my little village going on here and then we've got my tree arch here Ta -da! honestly this gives me so much joy i can't even tell you i honestly love this tree arch so much and i can't wait for it for next year <laughs> i just feel i'm a bit gutted you guys know i wanted the home bargains big candy canes and like big sweets. I've got some small sweets on it, yeah. But the ones in own bargains are like huge. So I'm a bit good about that. But it's what it is, you know. Can't lose sleep over it. So basically, I'm just waiting for the guys to come to do the shutters. And I'm going to wrap some presents up. Um, I've actually got a list of things to do. But I'll probably just get presents done to die. Uh, so yeah, I hope you're all well. And I'll catch up soon. Morning, guys. It is Wednesday the 8th, I believe. Um, I'm just currently at Meadowall. It's a bit bad quality filming at the minute because I'm just in an underground car park. But I've come to do um, Primark shop with me. Obviously not on this video. This is Vlogmas. That'll be in a separate video. Um, but obviously you'll come with me up to Primark and then it'll take over filming differently, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to call it Starbucks first, I think, because I need a hot chocolate or a tea and a hot cross bun, I'm thinking. I'm just really thinking a hot cross bun this morning. The baby must be wanting it. Don't blame me. Um, so, yeah, it's already packed out already, guys. I don't know if I to open the door just to get a bit of light in because I'm literally at the end of the car park feel like it's around half past nine and honestly people are almost fighting for spots already so i don't know how long i'm gonna last here but i do need a few of the bits like pound shop and things like that so if i do go to pound shop i'll show you what's in just a little browse anyway anything interesting to show you guys oh someone's gone there someone literally pulled in right next to me then so i got all awkward <laughs> and had to cut off quick uh, but yeah so by the way, I've just had a coat spot because you guys now get too hot in shopping centres, pregnant or not. <laughs> I need something cooler, even though my hands are literally dropping off right now. Um, so I think I'm going to walk in downstairs, straight to Starbucks and refuel, I think. So I've made it to Starbucks, but I actually went past this other shop and I had to go in. It's called... Um, it's new, I've not seen it. Flying Tiger, it's called, and it's actually so good. I'll show you the few bits I've got um, when I get in. But for now, oh, I've got a very rocky tea. <laughs> and then like a vegan, um, vegan breakfast sandwich, I think, something like that. 
class looking at H&M. Oh my God. I'm just on my way back to the car. I think it's about half one. And I'm actually exhausted. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm exhausted. My arms are killing. I ended up in Marks and Spencers. Um, I'll show you why when we get in. I just need to find my car. Uh, this is what I've bought. I've got that bag of stuff on there. Two Primarks, two Palm ones. My Marks and Spencers. Oh my God, I think I'm parked right up over in. Right up there. I thought I would have. Oh, see you when I'm in, guys. Hello, friends. Excuse me. I am back home. It is, I don't know, about six-ish. I've got a few hours out. I actually forgot my phone. So I've come home from Meadowall, dropped off some shopping, went to do the school run, and I forgot my phone. Because uh, then we also went to my mum and dad's after to get McDonald's. Because uh, so we've been on holiday for three weeks. But we've not allowed to um, go around because we've had to wait for the PCR test, is it? To come back. So that's all good. So we've been around there. So I forgot my phone for so long. So I was just stressing out. Anyway, back home now. I can't show you everything I've bought now. The kids are here. Um, two, well, not two little bits. I'll show you. Um, but wait a minute. So this is one. So... If you've been watching, you'll know Lydia needs like um, a Christmas jumper for a dance show, but she wants a t-shirt and I could not find one anywhere. So I managed to get one from Primark and it was £2.50. Not only that, I managed to get me one, the exactly same matching one. I've got XL because I'm pregnant. Um, exact same matching one for also £2.50. So I'm real pleased with that. She's not seen it yet, actually. And then, this is that shop that I was telling you about, like, this really awesome shop. What did I say it was called? Where is it? Our Flying Tiger. So, this is a little present for someone who apparently wants to be an archaeologist when he's older. It's like a dinosaur head trophy that just chills on your windowsill or whatever. And I got some more little bits on my Christmas village excuse me betsy should you be up there absolutely not right there guys has anyone else seen this shop right because i actually loved it but i've never seen it in my life so i don't know if it's just come up for christmas or if it's actually a shop shop um anyway i've got this little christmas decoration from our village out here because i figured that i need more i thought we were a lot bigger than this guys so i'm a bit disappointed um, so we need more houses and stuff. So I've got this. That was eight pound. Um, and then I've got this little figure, like a sledging. Mother, are they in a sleeping bag? Are they camping? Are they sledging? I don't know, but it's cute. And I think that was three. No, it was three pound. Yeah, and I think this was three pound as well. And these are like having a little snowball fights and burying them in snow. Super cute. And then for the same person that this is for, that wants to be an archaeologist, we've got these two little things, like an excavation kit. So obviously to try and dig out these bones from olden days. Obviously they're not real bones, or I absolutely hope they're not, guys. But I think these were £3 each as well. So they're great little stocking fillers. Maybe a Christmas Eve box, I don't know yet. Um, I think, oh no, wait a minute. Um, this is what I wanted to show you from Marks and Spencers. So, I don't know if you guys remember, I got this one last week. Like the gingerbread tin, and it's musical. Oh, oh that did work. Wrong way, Victoria. Okay, that sounds depressing. It works a lot better than that usually. Um, so, this is the other version that kind of goes with it, but this is like... So that's gingerbread, and this is shortbread, but it's a light-up house as well, so I'm super excited for that. In fact, oh, we don't need batteries. Let's try and get this off and see. Ugh. Right, we're ready. Oh, blow my neck. We can't see because it's shortbread, in it? Oh, we can a little bit. That little one's lighting up. That is so cute. I'll show you properly when... Oh my god, now I can't turn it off. There we go. 
two properly when I went to the biscuits out. But I did get one. I got two because I did get one as a gift as well. So I just think the brilliant gifts and they were £5 each. I think that's where we're up to right now. So now what me and Lydia are just going to catch up on. I'm a celebrity. Get me out up here. We always watch it like the next day because it's far too late for Lydia to watch it and she loves watching it. Um, so we're going to catch up on that. Oh, and then I need to wash my hair extensions and make them a bit silver because I'm having my extensions a bit tomorrow morning, guys. That's what's happening tomorrow. Then when I come back, I need to do some wrapping. I need to film a primer call from today. I need to show you guys what I got from the pound shop. Which I can't show you. And that's it. So if I don't see you later today, I'll see you in the morning. The next day. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It is Thursday. It is Thursday indeed. Um, I've been and got my hair done. I think I mentioned I were doing it yesterday. So I've been and got that done. It's now 10 to 12. So I've just come home. I'm going to do myself some cheesy beans on toast living that best vegetarian healthy life you know <laughs> um, and then i actually need to do a big primer call and try on a little sneak peek there guys this is actually a men's um cardigan but i loved it that much that this is perfect so bag that little beast up yesterday um I'll show you guys as well in a bit what I got from Pound Shop yesterday. But I've actually just had to call Aye! I've actually just had to call at one below as well, um, on my way to get my hair done just to get living some pasta. So I thought I'd quickly just run through and show you what I got um, from there. I literally just bought it like this because my hands were gonna drop off in this for they were a big queue and this wouldn't queue, so I just grabbed this to put them in. But I thought it'll come in handy anyway, because it'll be good as like a little um, you know, hamper, a little hamper box and things like that. So I got Lydia five pastas because we are running out and she has dance twice a week which then she'll take one to school with her to have before um, dance. Literally a pound, put them in microwave, one minute 30 or something. Boom, there you go. Handy to have him. I just got these little red coasters to go the candy cane kind of feature. Um, they were far for a pound, but look how cute and just two of the hour as well. Love them. I just got these two, I'll quickly show you. These two, isn't they? Yeah. Because Chris said this back wall needs jazzing up a bit. So I bought this from Home Bargains, I think, the other day. Um, but then, oh, out of focus. But then we we're a bit bored on either side. So I thought just something like this on either side. I don't know. Christmas ain't going to be perfect this year because, you know. We're still in construction phase. But uh, for now, I'll just throw these up there either side. Um, and then what else? Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got, I've got these. So I've got these red ones are for in here with the candy cane tree. But then I've got like the silver grey ones as well to go in the lounge because the lounge is like grey and white and silver. I've got these little cute boxes. Um, little presents, these actually like, oh my god, is the batches in it? Don't even tell me there's batches in it as well for pound. Actually, 125, but <gasps> that was one pound 25. Oh my god, that's actually a joke. Couldn't even make it for anywhere near that. Wow, I am pleased with them. Like I said, well, one pound 25. I think I might have them next to. Well, let me show you, like, next to the fire. That's to go in recycle bin, if you wonder why it's there. Um, do you know, just, like, down there, maybe, if it don't get chewed, excuse me. If it don't get chewed, I might have one at each side. She's up there again, she's not allowed. Um, she's got two iPhone chargers, because, honestly, like, gold dust in this house. And then I've got these little sacks as well. So these were £1.25, I think. But I always like these to put separate everyone's like parcels, parcels, presents in. So you know, like for instance, say I've got my mum for presents, I can just like put them all in here. And then on Christmas Day when she comes, I'll be like, oh, that's your little sack here. Obviously, they don't take them home, they go back in loft. Um, but I just thought it was a good idea just to kind of keep them all together. Um, I've got three of them. Oh, so I thought they were what the same. A snowman, a Santa, and a Santa. 
See, I'm just waiting for my beans. Um, well, I'm gonna start my beans on toast. Film a primer call and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh, guys, I've actually just finished um, filming my primer call. It's 30 minutes long, so when you watch it, you need to get your cuppers, your hot chocolates, and you need to sit down with your blanket and chill. <laughs> but I just thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got from Poundland yesterday. It is actually mainly all chocolates, stocking fillers, Christmas Eve things, the dog sniffing me. Um, you know the drill? I got three packs of Maltesers. They were two pound each. I think I got three, four packs of Ferrero Rochers. These, because these are like the bigger ones, they were two pound each as well. But they're to go in everyone's stocking. Two packs of Brothers Originals. I don't know if I got one for my dad and one for stocking filler. I can't remember, but we'll figure it out. They were pound each. Just needed some Tetley tea bags. Do you know like how I've not been having much tea or coffee or any? Well, I've started having maybe one tea a day now because it's like coming back to me, which I'm so glad because you know like when you've had a hectic day and you're just like, oh, I just want to get in another cup of... I still felt like that, but I just couldn't drink it. So it was like weird. But now I'm starting to kind of get it back. Got these dairy box. These were for a gift. I think these were about three pound. Forty five pound sixty, literally on all chocolates, guys. Um, so they're for a Christmas present. Um, they were from that um random place I went to. What would it? Oh, I forgot what it's called. Do you know where I got them dinosaur things from? Got a few other bits as well. Um, so when I went to Starbucks in the morning, I saw these and I thought these were perfect for stockings. So they are literally Starbucks cookie straws. So I don't know if you like if you like putting um, a glass of milk. Do you know like suck your milk through there? I don't know, but I just thought it's something a bit fun again just to put in there um, stockings. Just got these as a little gift again. They're just two pound, but it's just something to take. I'll leave them there. Turkish delight for maybe my dad. It's a good job he don't watch my channel. Um, dad loves Turkish delight. But these are chocolate coated, and I can't remember if he loves chocolate coated or if he hates chocolate coated. If he hates the chocolate coat, then I'm quite sure he can just peel it off or cut it off. They were a pound. Ripples, because my kids love a ripple. Or, I mean, if they were to go in stockings, that would be a great idea. A bit of a fun one. Someone that's a bit older, like 16, getting a Christmas Eve box and, like, you don't know what to put in it kind of thing. Um, I've just got some winders. You, know, you guys know the drill. Winders and breakfast bars. You get eight packs, two pound, four or five for winders. A pound. Then, oh, this is my favourite. I love popping candy. In fact, I might even open it now because I thought I might open this and just put a few packs in each stockings and Mama's going to have the rest. Do you know, I just, I've always liked it, but since I've got pregnant, I've super liked it. The baby's got a sweet too. Um, more Galaxy Ripples for the same idea of stocking fillers. Oh, it's a pack of four as well. That's really good. Pack of four for a pound. So I've got three of these. So where are we? So I've got a caramel milk, got a dairy milk with dime, and another dairy milk with dime. These were a pound um, each. Again, stocking fillers, Christmas Eve boxes. I'm at a stage where I need to go through and look at what's what now. Do you know, like, you feel like you've bought it all, but you just need to figure out what's what. That's where I think I'm at right now. Um, Marlott Lotus Biscoff, again, Christmas Eve stocking fillers. Sweet Christmas Eve stocking fillers. They are amazing, by the way. They're probably one of my favourite sweets ever. And then some Mau... I never know how you say this. Mauams. <laughs> Now, um, they all love this chewing gum, so I thought it'd be kind of fun just to put a pack in each of the stockings. 
And last but not least, someone that wants to be an archaeologist. I think I showed you the other bits I got yesterday, like the carving out the dinosaur bits. Well, these are very similar. Um, so I've got a two pack of them to go in. That'll probably be Christmas Eve box, actually, because it probably won't fit in, um, in stocking, will it? I'm not sure. I'll have to have a think. But that'll be really good. A two pack per pound as well. Oh, by the way, guys, I'll show you this from a Primark haul. I think I'll show you my cardigan, aren't I? That was a sneak peek. I also bought the baby, a little um, dummy holder, which is for its stocking. Baby, it's got a stocking filler already. It's not even born. Ah, oh, right. I'm literally setting off to go get kids soon. Not kids. It's Thursday, so on a Thursday, I'll just get Elliot. And then my friend gets Lydia from school, takes them to dance. I pick them up from dance and drop them all off. And I think that's where I'm at. Chris will be home soon. He's normally home on a Friday because he works away, but um, there's no work tomorrow. So Chris will be home very soon today. So I need to hide all these sweets and chocolates, actually, because some might be for him. And, yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. Um, I'm, I'm deaf, so... You're going to take your Morning, guys. It's Saturday the 11th at 10am. Me and Chris have come straight to White... Not White Rose, Meadowall, to try and get a bit of shopping done while it's hopefully still quiet. But as you can see with the cars, I don't think it's going to be too quiet. Um, we're hoping to get last bit of shopping done today, so fingers crossed we can get as much. <laughs> Go on, we can get as much done that we need to. So guys, we're here, but um, we've just come down and gone to the toilet, and then realised that we, we want to take something back, and we've um, left the plumbing car, so Chris has had to run back to the car. Basically, it's some LED lights. I'll show you when he brings them. And for five meters, they're twenty five pound each, and we've got three. And afterwards I thought, I'm sure that really expensive anyway, it turns out it is. So we return them and we're going to get them um, off um, Amazon, I think, for a bit cheaper. But I'll show you what I mean um, when it comes. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, it says 25 here, look. Oh yeah, that's it, yeah. Much, much, much later. Right, guys, it is actually a few days after. I've not been feeling too well. I'm literally in my jammers now. I've just filmed a video, Primark and Poundland haul video in my jammers because that's how we're rocking today. Well, it ain't because I've been out. I've done school run, so I've had to be dressed. But then I've come home and put jams on. Um, I just wanted to show you guys, when I went to Meadowall, I picked this up. It's like a plug-in... Um, wax or oil fragrance thing so I'm excited to try that I can't remember if it was 10 or 20 pound but I feel like it was 10 pound but I've got that to try and stop the smell of the cats um, in the bathroom so I'm excited to try that I'll let you know how that goes and on that note I'm going to end this vlogmas I forget which videos is which I'm going to end this vlogmas here if you did like this video please do like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one bye